Dwayne here, phoenixtyperadder.com. I've got this blue Smith Corona that's had a few different problems. I think I did the backspace on this video and the mainspring was bound up. But now we're going to look at this letter L here that is sitting lower on the keyboard than the rest of the keys. The customer directly wanted to get this fixed, so I wasn't sure. I thought maybe underneath here there's a set of pads or a pad that runs all the way across here. I thought maybe there was something wrong with that pad, but there's not. That looked good all the way across, and all these levers were even from this point of view, from this side. Where it's not even is, you can kind of see it from here, the letter L right here, this key stem right here is just sitting, it's just bent lower, it's just bent. And I'm not sure if it got forced down or what, but when I look at it compared to the K and the other ones on the same column there, it's just bent down. So I think it just needs to be re-bent back up. And I almost think I could get under here and just lift it up and bend it with my finger, I think. But I'm going to try using an official bender. So I've got these special benders here that have a groove in them like this. So it's made just for that. If a metal, you can bend it like this and get an angle on it. But it has to fit on this, uh, you know, like key shaft. And this is too small of a slot and well that's too small that's too big so I've got another one here and this one is too big this one is too small but see it's looks I think I've ground on this before to make it fit I think I'm just gonna grind it a little bit and make it fit yeah it's just a little too small I'm gonna try using I'm gonna try grinding this real quick here and just open this up a little bit and see if we can use this tool. It needs to be straightened out anyhow. That's a little, it's a little, uh, it needs to be flat right here. Nope, that's very close. Very close to fitting in there. Let me do this just a little more. close so it, fits, it actually fits this one down here let's see it must be just a little wider I mean just a little bit Let's see if that's about enough. It's on there. How do you like that? So it's there. Let me move these two down. So now I can I can grip that with this bender. And there it goes. It's, it's bending. I'm going to get a better camera angle here. And we're going to look at this bend on the camera here. So it's in there. I'm going to bend this up just a little bit, like this. Now it needs to go just a little more. I bent it a little bit, 
So we're just going to go a little bit more. Get this thing on there. It's a very tight fit. Let's see. Look at that. That's pretty close to what we want. I think we got it. So that's what it was. Maybe something at some point got set on that and jammed down. The steel is pretty, pretty tough, but it is pliable. All right, so that's how you form a piece of metal with a bender. These aren't necessarily specialty benders. They're just part of the, the typewriter toolkit from had these 40 years, those two benders. I actually have some other ones too. So that's it. That J is fixed. That's a, that's a neat little job. All right, Phoenix typewriter, good day.